actually, um, when I started out in this business, I started out with desktop publishing, and then I went into vinyl, and then I finally went into glass engraving. So I have three entities in my business, and uh, glass engraving just kind of grew and took off, and I enjoyed it so much that I guess I would have to call it signature glass now is what I uh, would call that part of the business, signature glass engraving. I really didn't expect myself to go into to glass engraving, but it just so happened that I was on the internet one day and I spotted a gal that um, does glass engraving and I was so intrigued by what she did and how she managed to, to make the images in the glass that I thought, I want to try this. I want to see you know, if I can do this as well. And uh, that's how I got started and here I am today. It's very detailed work, and um, I guess that's what I like the most about it is because when you're working with glass, you can actually move the glass from one place to another depending on the bits and the burrs that you use and get different effects. And that's an interesting concept to me because glass is a very unforgiving media. Well, I think the one of the most interesting things about glass is the fact that um, it is an unforgiving media, but there's so many different grays that you can create by hand engraving glass. Just by the bits and the burrs that you use, um, you, use the, you use the translucent um, aspect of it to help form your, um, your colors. If you leave something unengraved, it's going to be darker. If you engrave something, of course, it's going to be white. And if you use certain stones or if you use certain burrs, then you can get that gray in between the white and the dark. So then you've got three-dimensional um, images on a clean, clear piece of glass. And that's what intrigues me. I have a bit that I can actually engrave a line that's finer than the human hair. And so it just depends on how steady your hand is and what they want, you know. I haven't found anything yet that I can't engrave in glass. Not that I, I won't, <laughs> but I, I, so far I've been able to engrave what they've asked me to engrave. Uh, most of the people around here seem to enjoy the wildlife. Depending on how detailed it is, uh, some pieces have taken me up to three days. Um, some I can get done in an afternoon. It just depends on how much detail is involved. I suppose the fa my favorite one is um, I did a picture with an elk on it and I really uh, liked that because he looked so majestic on that picture. I would have to say the elk was probably my favorite. Because a lot of the glass that I engrave is uh, rounded like a, like a drinking glass. You have to put an image on that with a Sharpie first because if you don't have an outline of the image on the glass, you can very much lose your perspective very quickly uh, because it's transparent and when you look at something straight on on a glass or on a piece of glass that's rounded, um, the image sometimes will change its direction on you. So to put the first thing you want to do is put an outline on there so that you've got some perimeters to stay within. Then you just start filling it in and doing the detail work and you choose the different bits and burrs that's going to give you the depth, uh, the color, the grays, whatever detail you want. Of course, Minnesota is the land of 10,000 lakes, as everyone knows, and I'm a fisher person. I like to fish, 
and I enjoy the wildlife. I enjoy country living. I've been around and seen different uh, wildlife and different uh, scenery and that, and then it, it's just so nice to be able to do something that, you know, you can preserve that in some way. And, you know, one thing about glass, you put something that someone likes into glass, it can become an heirloom. It can be something that you can hand down from generation to generation. And that's something that they're going to say, I got this from Grandma. And they're going to hand it someday down to their children. And it's kind of neat to have that feeling that you're a part of that. I'm still on the journey. I'd have to say that there are so many things that I still have yet to learn and still discover. It's a release. You know, when I'm doing that, I'm not thinking about anything else but what I'm putting in that glass. And I want people to be pleased with my work.